hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my lovely fans chai this story is a very is a very how do i put it is a very touching story but it's not a sad full story, but it's a touching story. I want to put it because me Edoshi just won and just signed a big international uh, endorsement that we all know very well. But there is something is she said in this interview, according to what they told us. Maybe she's going to post it. You guys gonna hear from her. But for now, she have not posted. I cannot. I cannot post it. But there is this interview. They said she granted in this uh, in this uh, endorsement that she signed. There is some touching words. At me, Edo, she said that she has never said before, so that is the reason you have to watch this video from the beginning to the end. Like my video, subscribe, and also share so that you will hear the full details of every bit of this video. According to what we heard, when May Edoche signed that contract yesterday, it was a big, big, big joy for her, like she did not even see it coming her own self. It was a surprise when they called her for this contract, for this endorsement. So May Edoche, you guys can see that she's moving higher. A grace indeed is speaking for her. So my people, according to them, they said in this interview, when they called me Edoche in this uh, endorsement after she signed, she made a statement that touched everybody there. According to them, they said, me Edoche said she dedicates this uh, endorsement. She dedicated it because it is a massive, very massive. It is international. The more international it is, the more you'll be the big. So, according to me Edoche, they said she said the word that she dedicates this endorsement to a son, a late son, Kampli Chuku. According to what they said, they said, May Edo, she said that there is something she has never said before. She has never even told anyone. This thing is just waiting her. But she wants to use this opportunity to voice it out today. It has been long she wanted to say this thing, but she hasn't got that opportunity. But you see this one, she not go keep on again. She said she wants to say it so that everybody will know. And according to me, Edoshe, she said when her son, Kambili Chuku, may he so rest in perfect peace, be R.I.P. She said her world crumbled. She said she was going through a lot. Her husband left her, um, moved in with another woman, abandoned her and her children. She was trying to meet up. She said it was not painful like the loss of a child. She said the loss of a child was like a bomb in her heart. She said she cried. She thought that it is over. The only thing she think was she giving up so that her son will come back. The only thought that was coming to her is that if her son is gone, why is she living? What is she living for? And who is she living for? She said, the lose of a child can make you forget the rest of your children. She said there was never a thought that she had other children. All she could see is her late son. All she could see is her late son. All she could think of is her late son. She did not even remember if she had other kids to cater for. She just wished she can go and follow her son. To the other world she said the pains keep on keep on strong become strong day by day she thought that maybe when i wake up the next morning it will be better but instead the next morning it become worse everything about him comes in memory everything about him comes afresh she thought that she can't live anymore best decision is for her to join her son. She was not seeing anything that would make her to live. She did not know that her other children ever needed her. All she was thinking is her son, that her son will be alone in the other world and he will need her as a mother. She said she cried day and night. She cried so much that her daughter never left her for a day not for a second or a minute as if the daughter knew 
that she is going to take a drastic decision. The daughter was always with her. Even when she go to the bedroom, the daughter will stand close to her and tell her, Mommy, I'm here with you. You are not alone. She said it was a tough time. It takes only people that know to understand what she went through. She said she cried. She cried until she had no tears coming down from her eyes. She said she looked at her son. A very intelligent boy. A lovely soul. An angel on earth. A forgiving spirit. Never have any grudges for anyone. And suddenly it's gone. She said she, she never believed that she would ever come back again. All her thought was to go back and join her son. Until one night when she was sleeping. She said she would sleep as early as 8 o'clock. Then by 10 o'clock she is up. And all night through she will not sleep. When it's 5 o'clock she gets sleepy again. When it's 5 o'clock she will start sleeping again. When she sleeps she will wake up again. Just one hour sleep. The thought of her son will wake her up. She couldn't sleep. Me, Edo, she said she couldn't sleep. She was not sleeping anymore. She would just sleep for two hours, three hours. That is all she can sleep. Because anytime she's sleeping and the thought of her son comes to her, she will suddenly wake up from that sleep with hot tears rolling down her cheeks. According to her, she said the day come, she was in the parlor. She refused to eat. She refused to do anything. She was just there asking God, why did you take him and not me? Why did you allow him to go and why didn't you take me? She said she was asking God this question. She was so angry with herself. She said she put on the blame on her. She was angry for herself. She said she is not worthy to be called a mother. She is not worthy to be called a woman. She failed before her children. She failed her son. She was not pro she was not she was not strong enough for her son. She did not protect her son. She did not guide her son. She said she put continued putting the blame on herself until suddenly, according to her. She said suddenly, that aft faithful afternoon, that blessed afternoon, she thought that she's going to give it up. She cannot, she cannot heal from it. She said that faithful afternoon, that blessed afternoon, it was a Sunday. She usually go to church. She stopped going to church. She lose her faith in God. She said there is no God. If there is God, why did my son go? She said she lose her faith in everything. She did not believe in anything anymore. All she sees is that the everybody is wicked. The whole world is wicked. Nobody loves her. She said that was the only thought that was coming to her. Until that faithful Sunday, when she fell asleep on her couch in the parlor. She refused to eat. She refused to drink. Instead, all tears were just running through her eyes. Her daughter, Daniela, was in a state of confusion. She don't know how to help her anymore. She has been trying all her best to help her. Trying everything to calm her down. She said the loss of a child will make you go, will make you go crazy. According to her, she said that very faithful Sunday, she was there in the couch in her parlor crying. When suddenly, asleep, a nap, she fell into a nap. And inside that nap, she dreamt. She saw her son wearing a white cloth, sitting down and smiling. And she said, oh, Kambele Chukun, you are back, thank God. I almost lost it. I thought I would never see you again. 
And he said, the son laughed and said, Mother, truly you will never see me again until we meet in the other world. He said, Kamilich, what are you saying? Stop saying this. He said, Mother, take this is an handkerchief. Clean your eyes. I will be fine. Don't think of where I am. I'm very okay. All I want is you to be okay. All I want is your happiness. All I want is you to come back to your feet. Be the good mother you are. Love your other children. I am no more. I am gone. Love your children. Stand for them. Protect them. Make sure you become a prayer warrior. There is a big battle ahead of you. Clean your tears. Don't cry anymore. Instead, stand and fight for your children. If not, you will keep on crying. They want you to keep on crying. Stand up. Make sure you become a strong prayer warrior. Fight for your children. I will always be with you. I love you, mommy. He said no. She was still complaining. Can't believe she could walk towards her. Took the handkerchief from her. Cleaned her tears and gave her the handkerchief. And said... With this handkerchief that I clean your eyes, you will rise up and stand on your feet. You will fight for your children. Your doors will be open. You will never lack in your life, mommy. I love you. He said that was how she opened her eyes. Mm. Hi. 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 <sighs> she said that was how she opened her eyes. The moment she opened her eyes, it was it was like a it was like happiness, tears. She don't even understand. But she knew that there was this happiness in her. There was this joy in her. There was this there was this strength that entered into her. And she immediately she stood up, she took her bait. She said her daughter was just looking at her because it was so surprising. She stood up. She went to the bedroom. Her daughter came saying, no, don't worry. I'll be fine. She went to the bedroom. She took her bed. Like something just uplift her hope. She said from that moment, she cannot tell the rest story. It has been joy. It has been happiness. It has been blessing. It has been opening of doors. She says she dedicates this endorsement to her son, Kambili Chuku. Wherever he is, mommy love you. My lovely fans, that's why I said it's not sad. It's not, it's heart touching. This is the story of a woman that people are dragging. This is the story of a woman that went through all those things alone. This is the story of a woman that if she was not strong, this woman would have gone down. But because she's a strong woman, she fought what people don't, did not know. What this woman fought, not be smarty. What did she fight, not be smarty. She fought a battle, a big battle. Where this woman for come aside, a lot of people will not understand. And all of it suddenly, you let those she think she can just come from nowhere and say, Me, and do she forgive me? Hmm. It will be very hard. She says she has forgiven, but forget to be very hard. They almost finished this woman. So, according to her, she says she dedicates these her endorsements to her son. Hmm. She dedicates this endorsement to her lovely son, Kambili Shuku Yul Edoshe. My people, this life, you need to know the story of people before you judge them. This woman went through a lot. This is just quarter of her story that she told. Everybody was touched. There was nobody that tears did not run down their cheek. Because this thing 
is so heart touching. It is not easy for a mother, not a woman, a mother to lose a child. It is the worst, worst thing ever that can ever happen to anybody. My people, continue supporting our Queen May Edoshi and continue, continue praying for her, for God to give her the strength to heal totally from this, from this thing that you let Edoshi carry this woman go through. May God give her healing. And continue to pray for her. Never stop praying for me, Edoshi. The battle is still on. The God is with her. Like my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And share my video. For those of you that are subscribed, my God in heaven, we continue to bless you all. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.